All right, so uh, this is solar. I basically uh, cut in pretty much power for the solar and uh, wired it through the house. Uh, everything runs up under the house. Um, this is the regular power here. All the solar ones are the white. And the funny thing is, uh, this is not solar power. And the lamp is plugged into the solar outlet. Uh, this is actually regular AC power. And uh, it's actually being pulled from a separate source. The inverter for the solar is off right now. And uh, I'll show you that real quick because it's really cool. Alright, so you have to excuse my uh, mess of a wiring you know, thing right now. It's not actually to code because I'm still working on it. I uh, just wanted to do this video and show you this one piece of equipment that I got that was awesome. Uh, I showed you in the back that uh, how I'm running everything into the house and I have everything wired up under the house coming in to uh, basically receptacle outlets. That's how I use my solar power in the house and uh, my inverter is off as you can see, no power and uh, basically it was running all off of this which is awesome. This is the ITS-30R automatic transfer switch and this thing is well worth the money. It's a 30 amp uh, transfer switch which is awesome. Pretty much the way I have it wired uh, there's a 30 second delay if you run it uh, in reverse like if you were using house power and then you wanted it to divert load uh, which I don't know why you would want to do that to the inverter which I have it running on inverter and then the diversion load is like uh, the actual grid power so when the battery bank say if I were to you know be running this sucker and forget about it and I'm running something that exceeds power limitations and the thing shuts down or say this unit dies because it's black and decker piece of junk and it's not sine pure sine wave uh, which I'm saving for but uh, this unit will actually instantaneously flip over to grid power and then basically the lights stay on um, I know because the lights do flicker. Uh, the transfer is not good if you're running like a computer. It would be great for a laptop because if your laptop's got a battery, but for a regular desktop, the uh, transfer is not fast enough. And it's really fast, but it's still not fast enough. I, I definitely, if you're gonna run a desktop off something like this, you'd have to have a UPS and definitely like a power conditioner or something to keep the keep the spike from coming through. But uh, it's an awesome unit. That's kind of what's going on right now. It's just kind of wire mess, uh, everything. But I just wanted to share some of that, uh, some of that info. All right, peace out.